In this video, we are going to demonstrate the tension diagonal system using the clutch instead of the pressing mining pulley and ratchet pressing. The tension diagonal is a highly effective rescue tool. It is typically set up as a downstream safety, but can be utilized as needed for rescue. When choosing anchors, make sure the anchors are substantial enough and suitable to maintain our desired 45 degree angle. Acceptable anchor connections for the upstream anchor are the wrap three pull two, an anchor strap with a trialing, or a tensionless anchor shown here, utilizing a minimum of four wraps. More wraps may be needed if the diameter of the anchor is smaller. This anchor is best used around a pole or a tree. Avoid wrapping objects with sharp edges. We're also going to demonstrate using the tension diagonal system if you cannot get the rope to the water level. This will assist in areas where the water level is between anchor bolts or maybe in some U-channels where you have pre-planned retrieval areas. To reinforce the information going out to the field, make sure the red carabiner from the anchor strap is not connected to the clutch. It is not designed to support the entire load. Instead, use a G-rated carabiner connected to the tri-link. The rescuer will then weave the rope into the clutch, making sure to capture the tension side of the rope. The clutch has to be pulled in line 180 degrees. It is not designed to be pulled at a 90 degree angle and will be damaged and need to be put out of service if pulled that way under a substantial load. A 3 to 1 mechanical advantage system, or a Z-Rig, will be built to tension the lifeline. Once built, a single rescuer pulling on a 3 to 1 should be enough to tension the system or on longer throws, adjust as needed to gain rigidity, but be sure not to over-tension the system to cause failure. Once tensioned, the rescuer will put the clutch in stop and tie off the mechanical advantage, signaling the system is in use and to create a safety backup. This can be easily untied should a rescuer need to add more tension to the system mid-rescue. So here, we have attached a webbing loop to the tension diagonal to get a flotation device to water level. A carabiner is acting as a carriage for two throw bag control lines that are tied into the carabiner. These control lines will assist in pre-positioning the flotation device. Once the victim has grabbed a hold of the flotation device, the force of the water should ferry them to the retrieval team. The throw bag control line can also assist in ferrying the patient to the retrieval area. Make sure the rescuers in the retrieval area are secured as needed depending on the conditions and terrain. A rescue curtain can also be used as an adjunct to the tension diagonal system. The control lines would be attached to the bottom of the curtain. This would allow the curtain to scoop the victim or lift as needed to allow debris to pass. This is the only operational level tool to capture a victim who is unable to assist in the rescue.